Hello and welcome back to Empyrean Galactic Survival. My name is not Spanj but I am his robot assistant for when his voice is shot to hell. So for this episode Spanj will be building some stuff for the base. I will try to narrate occasionally to try and describe what it is he is trying to do. But of course we all know he is going to cock it up at some point so let's make sure we point that out in the comments as much as possible. Let's all take a moment to appreciate the fact he waited until daylight to start recording this time. Oh look some biofuel. Apparently he is really proud of that biofuel. The building he will be doing today will focus on getting a shield generator installed. Look he is even pointing it out to you in case you didn't know what a shield generator looked like. Oh that will be a base attack then. Better get a shift on Spanj. I would like to say something sarcastic right now but that unfortunately was pretty flawless. As well as installing the shield generator, Spanj is going to build a hangar bay for both of the SVs and Mindy. First he will have to move them out of the way to lay the foundations. Then remove the bits and bobs in the way. Now he can start to lay the foundations of the building. With the foundations in place he can start to mark out areas for each vessel to park. Using each vessel as a measuring stick it's clear he's going to need a bigger hangar bay. That's better, with the size and foundation pinned down he can now start to erect walls. If you laughed at the word erect you're a child, but Spanch approves which is no surprise. Before the walls however it's a good idea to make sure you get the right size hangar doors in place. With the basic outer walls in place you can now start on the roof but it is best to turn on structural integrity view before you do this so you can make sure nothing is going to collapse. The roof now done, we can start to put devices inside and build rooms. You can leave SI view on if it makes it easier to see.
There we go, the shield generator is in. This means Spange can hopefully leave the base to fend off those pesky attacks and not have to scramble SVs to intercept them every time. Now is time to add some shaping to the outside of the building. Vary the angles and slopes, flat surfaces are fine if you can break them up a little bit with some different shapes or good texturing. The basic shape of the structure is done. But we still have a lot of flat surface on the roof. There are four small solar panels on the drop base. Taking them off and placing four large panels on the roof here will help us break up those flat surfaces. That's better. Well, there's not much left to do now than texture. Start with the inside. Try to choose a base texture and color and pick accent textures and colors that work with that. Saluzdecor has already created an excellent color palette for this base. Let's try and copy his style. Floor texturing is done. Spanch has also created short runways for the SVs to help with parking on the way back in. Trying to copy someone else's style is not easy. You can be the judge here, but I don't think Saluz Decor would have so many flat surfaces. Still this is survival mode so maybe some Stark can be granted. Now just the exterior texturing to do. Again, Spange is trying to mimic the style of the drop base and using the same color palette. Let him know in the comments what you think. Did he nail it or should we bury this monstrosity in the ocean? Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this unusual episode. Spanch hopes to be back to normal service soon. He would also like to thank you all for the kind words of support on his last post. You lot are amazing. Well I guess this is it.
Until the next time he needs me to take over. Hope to see you then. Farewell.